Hello, my name is Pierre and I live in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. I bought a 40-foot bus and I plan on converting it into a full-time home. I want to travel. I have never got to travel. Uh, not far anyways. Uh, I've never seen a palm tree. I've never seen a, the ocean. And uh, I have the opportunity now. I'm going to take it. I'm going to try. <laughs> I uh, plan on traveling alone. I'm going to do this build on my own. Uh, I'm pretty handy. I'll probably need some help at some point, but uh, uh, if you have ideas, uh, put them down below. It's the month of February and it's very cold here, so it's going to be slow going at first. But once uh, we get in April, it should get going pretty good. So I hope you follow me. Uh, we're going to build this bus. Well, first of all, we're going to tear it apart and then we're going to rebuild it. And uh, it's going to be fun. Right? <laughs> in this video, you'll see how I bought the bus, how I got it certified for the road, uh, the insurance, and this and that. You'll notice that my speech is not very good. Uh, I hope you understand what I'm saying. I have dysarthria. It's caused from brain damage uh, due to my illness. Uh, so I hope you understand me okay sometimes it's not the best and uh, sorry about that but I hope you still like my videos so watch this video uh, tell me what you think in the end I'm at the bank, got $3,000 in cash, and we're gonna go look at my bus again. <clears throat> so here we go. I'm going to pay for the bus, and I'm gonna pick out the seats I wanna keep, and they're gonna show me a little bit about the bus. It's uh, really hard to find a bus out here. They all get shipped to Barry near Toronto. Uh, they don't bother selling them. They have a contract with a company and they take all the buses. So I was lucky to find this one. <clears throat> it's uh, really foggy today. It's, uh, it's actually raining. <laughs> well, we just had a week of minus 40 degrees Celsius. And uh, now it's raining. I've never made video before so me talking to uh, the camera is really strange. I'll have to get used to it if I want to make videos. I want to document the whole build and purchase and all that. So the bus I'm going to look at is a 2006 Thomas. Um, it's got the high roof. I can walk and I still have like, uh, I can put my hand over my head. So after I insulate, I'll still fit in the uh, in the bus. I'm not doing a roof raise, that's for sure. <laughs> that's too much work, you know, if you ask me. I guess uh, well worth it if you have a family. Uh, more space, you have bunk beds, I guess. Okay. Gas here is $1.23.6. It's uh, January, uh, I think it's the 11th today, 2018. In 2007, I think it was, I, uh, I just bought a minivan and uh, I decided to go on a road trip. Uh, it was so, supposed to be for over the weekend, extended weekend. And uh, my boss said, well, take a week. So I took the 10 days, the two weekends and plus the week. And uh, I went to Quebec and uh, I put a mattress in the back. I had my bike and everything I needed. And I took off and I uh, had a great time uh, van dwelling for 10 days. So making the bus, the big bus, 40 foot bus, to be a, a treat to have everything with me and uh, lots of space. 
I have a lot of stuff. Um, I keep everything. I'm a handyman, so everything's good to me. I like to uh, repurpose stuff. So, you know, if I uh, something breaks, well, I'll take it apart and keep all the parts that could be used for something else. Uh, project. And uh, <laughs> so I got a lot of stuff to get rid of. I've uh, been selling stuff uh, since last fall there. Um, it's really hard to let go of some stuff. I have a lot of tools too, I like being a handyman. And you got every tool, you know? So. Take the next right to stay on Montpelier Road. for the bus already and uh, I'm helping the, uh, the guy take all the seats out I got uh, all the one side done all the back and now I just got the uh, front to do here and we'll be done then we'll start yanking the seats out Okay, so uh, I came to pay the guy for the bus, and uh, he had the truck. He had the bus in the uh, garage. He was looking at over to make sure everything's uh, okay with it. Found a couple of uh, brake lines that are rotten, so he's he's ordered them already. And uh, the brake cable is ordered, and uh, I thought the windshield was good, but no. It's broken at the bottom where the wiper is. Couldn't see it last time because uh, the front of the bus was full of snow. But uh, it took us an hour and we got all the seats out. He was underneath cutting with the torches and uh, I was inside taking the bolt nuts and bolts off. And then uh, he came up and then wrestled all the seats off and uh, it done like an hour. It's amazing. It would have took me a week. The grinder. It 
there's no way those bolts would have moved. He's gonna look for tires for me. Uh, they're, they're, they won't pass safety. So, uh, brand new ones, good ones, they're uh, 260 each. So I'm looking at $1,000 in tires. That's a lot of money. I don't have that right now, so I'm just gonna put some used ones on. I have a little speedboat uh, and I've got a 65 horsepower on it. Um, I'm gonna have to sell that, pay for the bus. And uh, last year I bought a, a 1986 Pontiac Fiero. I, it cost me 5,000 in the end. So uh, it was expensive. for sale now too. 1986 Pontiac Fiero. Red. So maybe in a couple weeks I'll be able to take the bus home. It's gonna have to pass safety. Uh, I'm gonna have to come up with uh, another thousand for sure. Hopefully in the spring I'll be able to sell my uh, Fiero and um, my speedboat. I'm so glad the guy says you take the seats out man that, that's a big job i don't have torches at home so i hear stories about uh people taking two days just to take the seats out so um really happy about this so i'm on my way home from uh, uh paying for the bus we took out the seats he showed me around the bus and uh i'm almost home now but I'll be uh, starting to edit my first uh, video, so um, my first editing job, so I hope I do okay. I bought six good tires uh, yesterday for 500 bucks. What a deal. Okay, this is where we're at. We got the seats out. We just put six new tires on the bus. Brakes are fixed, brake lines are fixed, and uh, the spare parts there, rotors, and it's coming along. Open the door here. Open. Hi. Little update. The mechanic that's gonna certify it came to look at the bus today. It looks good. Uh, I was afraid he wouldn't pass the windshield, but he will pass it because it's right at the bottom. You can't even see it, so really happy about that. That's a, another uh, seven or eight hundred bucks you know, with the installation, so it's a big savings there. Uh, but he did find that uh, even the owner of the bus didn't know uh, there's a fuel leak uh, diesel. So I'm gonna get that fixed hopefully soon. I called the guy already, left the message. And a few days later, I get this call. Hello. Hello, I'm looking for Pierre. Uh, speaking. Hi, Pierre, it's Rocky calling from Brownsville. Well. Yeah. Um, I'm working on your school bus right now. Yeah. Okay, so I got the fuel tank dropped down. Um, I don't know what you want to spend on it, um, but I'm gonna to have to sandblast it to find out where the holes are. Okay. and then have, have my welder repair it in that. Um, I called, went ahead and I called Cambrian Truck Centers because the, uh, the bus is a Freightliner. Yeah. Um, they, they have one in the U.S. for $1,500, brand new. So I've already got, uh, I got about two hours into it right now, dropping it down, and then, like I said, probably about another hour, hour and a half to sandblast it. Um, like, and then have my welder repaired. So I don't know what you want to spend on this. 
Well, how much will you uh, cost? To repair it? Yeah. Well, we can, uh, I can, I can sandblast it first and see what, uh, you know, see how long it's going to take and how many pinholes there are in that. Okay. Um, I, I, I can, if you want it, go ahead and do that first before, uh... Yeah, before like, I... I don't have a lot of money. I, uh, I don't think I can afford fifteen hundred dollars plus insulation and all that. And, okay. Um, I was expecting like uh, three, four hundred bucks. <laughs> well, I got, I got two hours just into it, bringing it down right now. So you're you're probably about two hundred, two hundred twenty right there. Okay. So and that's that's not including still putting it in, still sandblasting it, still painting it, uh, you know, still repairing it, plus the material to repair it. And then uh, once it's sandblasted, well, then I'll know more if we gotta if we gotta start putting bigger patches into it, and then and then I can uh, I can talk to my welder and see what uh, see how how long it's gonna take for him to uh, to repair it. Yeah, you know, like I I, I don't want to spend uh, <laughs> more than I paid for the bus for a gas tank, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I completely understand. But uh, if you want, I'll go ahead and sandblast it there, and I'll uh, we can let you know from there. Yeah, uh, gonna have to do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. So when, once I'm done uh, sandblasting, I'll let you know. Okay. 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 Thanks. Okay. Bye. 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 Uh, what I wanted to hear. When it comes to insuring a bus, you can expect the process to take up to a week. They ask a lot of questions because it's not a regular request. Because it's not an RV yet, it's considered as a commercial truck for personal use. It's also difficult to get plates for the bus. I wanted plates on the bus so I could drive it around to see how it handled and maybe take it places for servicing or get things installed. But because the bus is not an RV yet, it's classified as a commercial vehicle. But then I found out that when I changed the status to RV, I would need another mechanical inspection. So the solution I came up with is to build a makeshift RV that meets the basic requirements. A bed, a potty and a place to prepare food with a cooked up. Then once I have the insurance and RV status in place, I can start over and do the project the way it's supposed to be. Except that when I went to get the plates, they told me that I had to paint the entire bus any color but chromium yellow. School buses are not allowed a trip permit. That means the bus has to stay in my driveway to get painted. Unless I get it towed. I have 30 days to paint the bus and it's February, the coldest month of the year. Lately it's been minus 30 degrees Celsius every day with no weather above freezing in sight. Prepping and painting the bus will prove to be a challenge. Yesterday, February 1st, 2018, I got my certification as a motorhome and they won't give me plates unless I paint this bus, the whole bus, the roof and all, February 2nd and uh, yeah, I gotta paint that bus in this weather. I got nowhere to go with this bus. I can't drive it anywhere. I got no plates. I have insurance. Really sucks. All I can do now is to keep the bus free of snow and ice. If I keep the bus dry, I'll be able to be, try painting the bus on a milder day. I'll probably start by applying the white roof paint first. I think I should paint the bus black. The sun should make the paint dry faster if it's black. Well everybody, I'm gonna have to wrap up the video. Uh, it's just too cold to do anything here. We're getting minus 30 Celsius every morning here, so um, it doesn't warm up enough during the day to um, paint. <laughs> uh, hopefully next week it's supposed to warm up a little bit, so I'm gonna try in the sun. Maybe, uh, It'll work. I have till March 1st to uh, to do all this. So I still have like three weeks for sure. So hopefully get it done. 
I hope you keep watching, subscribe if you want to see more, and thanks for watching. Seventeen thousand three hundred pounds. That is seven thousand eight hundred and forty seven kilograms. With that, I can get my plates. <laughs> <laughs>